put up four videos yesterday and uh, getting a lot of response. Um, I'm I'm pretty fascinated with how people are now opening up a window into their lives. You know, they're they're being open and honest and just saying, "Hey, look, this is my life." You know, what do you think, world? And uh, it's a fascinating thing. It's interesting. And, uh, you know, I'm finding a lot of kindred souls out there, you know? Uh, so, to all the people who have been messaging me uh, and showing me their their YouTube pages, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful stuff. Thanks for sharing. Uh, you know, it just warms my heart to see such amazing human beings just being open and honest and brave. It, you know, I think it's what um, it's what my video was all about. Was just like opening yourself. You know, open yourself to to the spirit, to humanity. You know, and uh, and it seems like it's bringing about a revolution in humanity. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to see people sharing themselves, sharing their lives, sharing their emotions. And um, anyhow, it's just. Uh, awesome thing to see. So Lisa Aaron Brown, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about you, I'm thinking about things that we're going to do together, you know, the, I have some ideas, some video uh, ideas and uh, some, you know, trips that we can take together and some, uh, some work that we can get done around my place. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, you know, July 1st is around the corner. Anyway, well, like I'm glad you liked the videos I've been producing. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I I don't know what I would do if I wasn't doing videos. You know, I don't think I would feel uh, fulfilled. It, it gives me something to do. It gives me a uh, purpose in life. You know, it seems like uh, it's my excuse to do things. You know, um, if I didn't say, oh, I need to make a video, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I would do anything, you know. I, I might just be wasting my life. But since I have to make a video, I, I'm always needing material, so it's like i got to go do something so I can film it. So I can, so I can, you know, give my viewers, my sub subscribers, something to watch. So, in a way, my subscribers are giving me giving me a purpose, giving me a reason to live, because um, I really struggle with that, you know, I, 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 probably a lot of people don't really realize this, but uh, I'm in a lot of pain, I have uh, body pain, my ankle's broken, and that makes it so that I have problems walking, and, uh, and my knee hurts, my left ankle's broken, and my right knee hurts all the time, and my back hurts all the time, and my muscles hurt all the time so you know I'm in a lot of pain and it's like I don't even really want to be here you know but I know it's not it's, you can't just give up you can't just kill yourself you know that so then you gotta just like well you gotta do the best you can and and in order to do the best that you can you have to do something you have to you know you have to make your life about something you know and you know, all my stuff's paid for, my land's paid for, my cars are paid for, my kids are grown, and so what's it about? You know, why why am I even here? Why am I living my life? And, you know, the answer that I've come up with is I'm here to serve my fellow man. Okay, one of these chickens got in here and this stupid guy. Wow, man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. Get him. Get him. So I'm pondering what does it all mean? I'm having a hard time. Because I just don't know what I want to do with my life. 
You know, sometimes I feel like uh, I feel lost. You know, like I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So many people, they always think, oh, if I could just get this, if I could just do that, if I could, if I could get the job, if I could get the promotion, uh, I'll be happy. You know, if I could just get the next next thing, I'll be successful. If I could get my house paid, if I could do this, if I could do that. Life will be better. And you know what? I did all that. I'm someone that knows how to get things done. And I did all those things. And here I am. On the other side of that. And I'm not any happier. Well, if you see my videos, I'm not unhappy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I mean... Now it's like, well, what do I do? You know, what do I do with my life? Um, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a car payment. My kids are grown. So you know, and I don't like to travel. I like it here. I live. I like it where I live. So, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Just live life. Well, I mean, I live in a beautiful place. It's tough. It's tough being successful. Everyone thinks that, oh, if I if I could just do that next thing, you know, if I can just achieve that next goal, then everything will be all right. Everything will be good. What happens is they end up spending their life going after that next thing. And they forget to live their life. So here I am living my life. And there isn't any next thing. There isn't something else I want. You know? I don't need no job. I don't want no promotion. I don't want any cars. I don't want to travel. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want anything. I don't want. So what's it about? What's life about? What am I... What's left, you know? Okay, so... There's some things I like. I like sex. I like women. I like motorcycles. I like good food. I like swimming. Oh, here's the other thing I wanted to talk about. So this other thing I wanted to talk about is um, most people don't realize that I'm in a lot of pain. Um... My left ankle's broken. I broke it in jiu-jitsu and it never healed right. And that messes up my right knee. So I don't walk very well anymore. It's, it's really painful to walk. And uh, I have a lot of back pain. And I have a lot of muscle aches and a lot of muscle, joint, muscle pain. So... I live in a body that's very painful. I'm in constant pain. Uh, I almost don't know any time without pain. So it's tough, you know, and it makes it uh, hard to enjoy life, you know, even though, I mean, if you watch, if you watch my videos, I do a damn good job of faking it, <laughs> you know. So, you know, I... Uh, you know, I went through a depression in 2009 because I was in a lot of pain and I didn't have any money. I didn't have a job. I didn't have a girlfriend and I was lonely. And, 
And all these women were coming to my home from all over the world and loving on me and then leaving and it was breaking my heart. And I kept asking myself, why? Why are all these women coming and loving on me and, and you know, spending time with me? And uh, I didn't know what it meant, you know? So, here's here, here's the thing. I've wrote it many times. This is the first time I'm trying to vlog it. Is, um, I was raised in the ghettos of East Los Angeles to, in a very violent place to a mother who beat me so bad that I thought she would kill me. Okay, so... Growing up that way damages you. When you're um, raised by a woman who uh, you're afraid for your life for, it damages you and it um, makes it so that loving, especially women, is tough. And, um, you know, I was a beautiful child and I was a beautiful young man and women loved me. And attracting women was easy. Um, and so I learned early on, or I came to believe early on that sex was love. And so I had sex with a lot of women because I wanted to be loved like everyone else. Well... <sighs> As I got older, um, I realized that sex wasn't love and that I was incapable of love and I was hollow and I knew that I did not know how to love. And so I spent a lot of time alone here on this mountain all by my lonesome and as you can see this can be a very lonely place. I'm on the side of a mountain. I don't have any neighbors. You know, I didn't work. I didn't, haven't worked since 2004. So I spent a lot of time in solitude. And, um... I... kind of just gave up on life. Anyway, so... It was my daughter who brought one of her friends over, a beautiful young girl named Crystal. And Crystal changed my life. She made me fall in love with her. She was only 19 and I was 46. And it was crazy. But I was in love with her and she, she did a good job of making me fall in love with her wasn't a sexual thing, but it was love nonetheless. Anyway, she ended up moving in with me. And I asked her to have a monogamous, platonic relationship. And she did it. And it made me desire femininity again. And... It didn't last, and um, she left, you know, after only a few months, but after she left, I realized if that beautiful creature could um, love me, then another one could, and I called it in, and man, did, did femininity come to me. It was incredible beautiful young women from all over the world came to me and they touched my heart and I learned to love them without sex and so I gave back that love without taking the sex that I, and I paid back that debt because when I was young I took the sex and didn't have give the love and when I was older I gave the love and didn't take the sex once I once I had done that for almost a year, um, I had paid my karmic de debt to femininity and was now capable of love again. And, um, you know, I went through a huge depression because 
with every woman that I gave a piece of my heart to, it left me with a, a piece missing at the end of the year. I had a hole in my chest. It felt like a hole. I was hurting. And um, I was depressed. I didn't want to live. So I sought the advice and the help of a, a doctor, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a shaman, Indian medicine man, and sweats. And, um, you know, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to get better because I was sick, I was depressed, and I didn't want to live. And at the end of the year, I realized, I figured it all out, that the whole year had been about me paying that karmic debt to femininity. And um, that's what all those woofer videos are about, and all those young girl videos. Yeah, none of it's about sex. It's all about love and not having sex. Anyway, so when I realized that I had paid that karmic debt to femininity and I was now able to love again that's when the double rainbow came to me <laughs> yeah it was a sign that I had grown to a point where I was now able to love completely so right after that I put a profile on greensingles.com and I met Sage right away <laughs> and uh, Sage came over and uh, I knew that she was my soulmate right away <laughs> she has a funny story about that but she tells it better than I do anyway so after uh, After the double rainbow video came, I knew that I was capable of love, and that's when Sage came into my life. Yeah, I never doubted that Sage and I would end up together, but it's not easy. She's not an easy woman, and I'm not an easy man, so I guess we're a good match. So... Uh, you know, a lot of people think that if they could only make it to where I've made it, you know, if they could live in the mountains with no neighbors, if they could have their home paid off, if they could learn how to love completely, you know, if they could be famous, you know, there's a lot of things that people... Um, would like that I've have that I have or that I have achieved, and you know what? It's still, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's still it's still it's still just life. So no matter where you're at in it, if you're trying to get that promotion, or if you're trying to get that job, or if you're trying to get accepted in that school, or whatever you're trying to do, because you think it can make your it'll make your life better or more complete, uh, -uh. <laughs> it ain't gonna do it. You gotta be happy right now. You gotta be happy in the moment. You gotta learn to appreciate the moment. You got to learn to not listen to the voice in your head that tells you that the thing the things that you did in the past were not the best things that you should have did to enjoy your life the most. The things that you're doing right now are not the best things that you could be doing right now. The things that you're doing right now are not going to be the best things for your future. You need to li you need to quiet those voices in your head that tell you that all those things and not listen to them and just say I'm happy now life is good right now I'm sitting here in a hammock I'm relaxing and life is good 
It's a beautiful sunset. You got to do that. When you can learn how to do that, it don't matter about the next promotion or the next level that you're trying to get to. None of that matters. If you can enjoy yourself in the now, that's what matters.